Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dr. Malady coming to you live from the clinic. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about diabetes. So I'm going to start, as I've always done, is to tell you a little bit about my own family history. I'm very transparent with you guys because I want you all to understand that doctors and nurses and everybody else in healthcare is much like you. We're not any different. We have the same family histories and sometimes even worse. So... <clears throat> I do have a family history of diabetes. I think everybody knows that by now. I also have a family history of high cholesterol and also of high blood pressure. So for me, if I eat very poorly, I end up being a, a pre-diabetic, right? But if I eat very well and I exercise and I avoid the uh, carbs, the sweets and everything else, things are better and it goes back to normal. So that means there's a preventable aspect of this. So that means I need to be proactive. So I wanna to explain to you what it means um, to have your A1C checked, which is very important for most of us. We may have normal blood sugars when they do check where it is between 70 and 100. And then other times, depending on what we're eating, now the blood sugar shoots up and it's like periodically does the seesaw thing. So. A normal A1C should be, depending on the lab, 5.6 or lower, actually. five point. I would say for Quest, I think it's 5.7 is abnormal. For LabCorp, 5.5 is normal, so uh, uh, below 5.6. So that's the standard. Now, if it is between 5.6 and 6.3, that is abnormal. That means prediabetes. Now, what is the A1C? An A1C, to put it in simpler terms, is a molecule that tests your, we're able to test that molecule, check your blood sugars over a three-month period. So that means even if you have your blood sugar, sometimes um, depending on what you eat is like 80 and other times it's like 150, other times it's 200. Let's say if you had the cake, you went to the wedding, went to the graduation um, this, this past month, it's going to be higher. So therefore, that is um, how we measure when you come and get blood work. We check that uh, blood sugar, that glucose fasting sugar. They call it fasting blood glucose. That is what we check, and we check to see whether it's within normal range. That is a one-shot blood sugar. Where A1C now is uh, they, it's a test that uh, we're able to see your blood sugars over a three-month period. I can go into the pharmacologic way of uh, just the pathophys in terms of how that happens. That's insignificant at this time because I'm trying to keep the video short. So we are able to see what your blood sugars are running as an average for three months. So if it is over 6.4, right?